But what does it really mean? Seriously, what does it really mean? Equals everywhere? LeBron's six foot eight, six foot nine. Am I his equal on the basketball court? Are you? Again, I am 100% in promotion of fairness and equality in a real way. This isn't real. This is, this is a scam. And you know how you know it's a scam? Because Tiger Woods has stepped out. That's when someone should have tapped LeBron on the shoulder and been like, hey, bro, we riding the same bus as Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods ain't stood for nothing but Perkins waitresses and Playboy bunnies and whatever he could have some fun with. And now Tiger Woods, and I, my approval rating on Tiger is about 85%. Tiger's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Like Tiger. But Tiger is not some social justice warrior. Tiger Woods is about golf and bimbos. We all know it. But now he's tweeting out a picture. If we can be equals in sport, we can be equals everywhere. And Tiger Woods. Start at home, bruh. Can a sister get a table dance, Tiger? Start there. I'm not talking about give her a date. I'm not talking about buying her Valentine's. How about just a table dance? I'm going to talk about equality. We know the deal with Tiger Woods. He's made no secret of it, and I'm not beating him up for it. Could care less what type of bimbos he likes. But now you're going to step out here, you, you a warrior for justice. Someone should have tapped LeBron on the shoulder <laughs> Tigers on this bus, man. We getting off. And again, I'm telling you, like both of these guys, approval ratings high on, they're going down the wrong path, and they're dragging you all down the wrong path. All this resist, resist, and all this substanceless resistance. It's bogus. It's a campaign. It's a fight about money. It ain't got a damn thing to do with you. The ordinary working man. I told y'all I'm a wolf and I was raised by wolves and all my friends are wolves and you can't get the wolf out of me. I'm not an elite. I play one on TV. I live amongst elites, but I'm not an elite. Mama didn't, was a factory worker. Daddy didn't graduate high school. I went to Ball State University on a football scholarship and graduated with a 2.3. You're listening to these Ivy League educated elites. I'm talking about some of these black elites that are leading, oh, they're caping up for the working man and for poor people. No, they're not. They're caping up for themselves. And LeBron James, although born in the hood, when you're born six foot eight, six foot nine, with all that athleticism, you're born on third base too. You know how hard it is to get in the NBA? Muggsy Bogues did something. Five foot three in the NBA. Born six eight, with all that athletic, they identified LeBron in third or fourth grade. You know how I know? Because I grew up with a LeBron James. Jeff George. We knew in fifth and sixth grade, number one pick in the draft. You start treating them differently. Oh, my God, this kid's going to be worth a boatload of money. He's a great talent. And so from third, fourth, fifth grade, you start treating them different. You start treating them like an elite. LeBron James no different. LeBron James thinks he's Muggsy Bogues and climbed his way uh, all up the mountain. Oh, it was so incredibly hard. And I'm not dissing his journey, his path. Six foot eight? All that athleticism? You win the genetics lottery? That's an elite, and he thinks like an elite.
And this thing he's doing right now with this social justice, it's elite thinking. 